Hello, my dears. How are you today? Well, Grandma wants to tell you some more stories from the Book of Mormon. What happened to Lehi and his family after they left Jerusalem and followed the compass through the wilderness until they came to the land bountiful by the seashore. And once they had been there for many days, the Lord told them that it was time to build a ship. And so he spoke to Nephi and said, Arise and get up into the mountain. The Lord likes to speak to his prophets in the mountain. And so Nephi went to the mountain and he prayed. And the Lord said to Nephi, Build a ship after the manner that I shall show you that can carry the people across the waters. Do you see the water in the background there? And so the Lord had told Nephi to build a ship that could carry them across the ocean. And Nephi wasn't a shipbuilder, but he knew that the Lord could tell him how to do it. And so he said, okay. And he said, show me how to make the tools and I'll start building it according to your instructions. And when he came down and told his family what he was going to do, his two older brothers, Laman and Lemuel, they mocked and they laughed at him and said, nah, you can't do such a thing. That's too hard. And so Lehi, Nephi excuse me, told his brothers that the Lord had commanded them to leave Jerusalem and he had commanded Nephi to build a ship. And so that's what he was going to do. Now, Laman and Lemuel were angry, and they wanted to throw Nephi into the sea because they didn't want to do it. And when they tried to take hold of him, Nephi said, Touch me not, for I am filled with the power of God. He told them that if they touched him, they would wither and die. And he told them not to complain anymore against him or their father. And he said that with the Lord's help, he could build the ship. You see, he's holding out his hand and telling them, you better not touch me. You'll be in trouble. And for many days, Nephi's brothers did not dare to touch him. And then the Lord told Nephi to stretch forth his hand to his brothers. And he said that they would not wither and die, but they would feel a shock. And that was to remind them that the Lord was God. And so he reached out and touched them, and they were shaken. And Laman and Lemuel said, We know of a surety that the Lord is with thee, for they know, for we know that it is the power of God that has shaken us. And that's another one of the stories that you will read about in the Book of Mormon. What happened to them as they were traveling and trying to get to the promised land. And so with the Lord's help, they built a ship, they followed the instructions that were given to Nephi, and they got on the ship, and they loaded all their provisions, enough food and supplies to get them across the ocean, and they all climbed aboard and sailed across the ocean. And you see Lehi has in his hand the Liahona, because that worked to help steer them across the ocean. So that they could come to the promised land. And so I hope that you will enjoy reading some more of those stories. The Book of Mormon is true. It helps us to, as we read about it to learn about how the Lord deals with his people. And it can give us the faith that the Lord will be with us. He can watch over us. We can have to do hard things. Life isn't easy but we can get through and with the Lord's help, we can be successful. Now remember, Grandma loves you. And I'll come back and tell you some more stories later. Bye.